Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's always great to see you here. Unforeseen tragedy strikes Fargo's finest. In the quiet and peaceful city of Fargo, North Dakota, a shocking incident unfolded this past Friday, painting a grim picture that will forever be etched in the city's history. The incident. Three brave police officers became the victims of an unexpected shooting. The incident claimed the life of one of Fargo's finest, Officer Jake Wallen, aged 23 and left two other officers critically injured. The tragic event unfolded near the intersection of 9th Avenue South and 25th Street South, a location typically known for its tranquility, rather than violence. The Aftermath Officers Andrew Dodas and Tyler Hawes, both sustaining gunshot wounds, are presently fighting for their lives in a healthcare facility. Their condition is critical but stable. An innocent civilian, a 25-year-old woman, was also caught in this horrific event. She is currently being treated for serious injuries in a local healthcare facility. The perpetrator. As the city mourns the untimely demise of Officer Wallen, the alleged suspect, Mohamed Barakat, 37, also met his fate in a confrontation with Officer Zachary Robinson, who responded to the shooting. The suspect was transported to a hospital, where he later succumbed to his injuries. A city in shock. Police Chief Dave Zabalski, in a press conference, expressed profound shock and sorrow over the incident stating that there was no known reason for the shooting. The incident occurred as officers were investigating a routine traffic accident, with Barricade seemingly uninvolved with the initial collision. Zabalski remarked, Our officers were out there performing their duties investigating what we would say was a routine traffic accident, when this individual began firing at them, striking three of them, and also fired shots at the firefighters who were also on scene attending to the crash victims. He added, the events of the last 24 hours have been among the most difficult in our department's nearly 150-year history. This was a heinous and unthinkable act of aggression against our officers and the entire metro community. The investigation. Officer Robinson is currently on paid administrative leave pending an investigation into his use of force, as a standard operating procedure in Fargo. The community. Fargo, the most populous city in North Dakota, is a community that prides itself on its close-knit, friendly nature. With a population of around 125,990 as per the 2020 census, this tragic incident has left the city in mourning, forever changing the lives of its citizens.